No one has a longer political career than John Quincy Adams. He bridges the founding generation, the Revolutionary War, the Constitution, the battles of the 1790s, all the way to the party politics, the slavery controversy, the Mexican War in the 1830s and 40s. He's reflecting on his fellow national political figures from Jefferson to Jackson to Henry Wise, Charles Sumner, Thaddeus Stevens coming on the scene in the 1830s and 40s. And we really see the progression of concern from at the center from the future of the republic at war with Britain, the dipl diplomatic issues of that early period, to the movement of the issue of slavery to the center of national politics and his efforts both to keep it at bay and then in his remarkable transformation to go from segregating it out and saying this is not my concern, this is not something we should be talking about in Congress, this is not something that we uh, can make a viable national politics out of, the slavery question, to this is the issue of our time that is connected to everything else and has to be pursued to its end even if that leads to the brink of civil war.